Yeah, let's get the first alarm out here. And what have we got coming? We've got Chief 6, Engine 6, Tanker 6, Rescue 6. And from over here, we're getting Chief 7, Engine 7, and Tanker? Truck 7. Uh, well, we do have a tanker available. Everybody, this is a shadow box and welcome back to emergency 4 today we are on the West Falls Township mod which is by Slate Dragon and contributed to by itch boy this is the modder appreciation mini series so if you see either one of them around make sure you give them a big thank you for their hard work on this map I forgot to say so in the uh, last modification uh, Miami mod is done by EMC unit with again contributions by itch boy and several others so make sure you give a big thank you to them for that mod as well um, if it is applicable I will try to link any donation links that are verified to be to the mod authors I did not see any for Miami mod at least on emergency planet um, but you can find them in the comments section if I find them but let's get into the mod today. Of course, West Falls Township is based primarily on uh, volunteer response, though they do have some full-timers here. It looks like maybe it's a, a driver's drill going on here. We got uh, one of the chiefs, or the chief. No, it's battalion chief. So one of the chiefs with uh, three chauffeurs, which is kind of a, uh, a northeast term for driver or engineer. Medical emergency. Report of a circulatory collapse. Treat and take the victim away. All right. Though, of course, our uh, there's no dispatch script that I can tell or that I can remember anyway. So, it's going to be sending units out the old-fashioned way. Nothing wrong with that. And let's get down here. I have forgotten. So, I recently upgraded. Well, by recently, I mean during the Steam Summer Sale. I upgraded from 911 first responders to emergency 4 deluxe, and I forgot to uh, put the dispatch tones mod back in when I updated. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to remember to do that soon because I really don't like just the uh, the voice dispatch. I'd prefer the, the tones and stuff like that. It, it feels more realistic to me. Now, if the in-game dispatcher was a little more realistic about it, I don't have uh, robot dispatchers where I work. We have all human dispatchers, so it's uh, mostly about the tones for me rather than rather than the the robot voice. Roger. Come on in, boys. Let's uh, get this guy Roger. taken care of. Oh, this is a two-person stretcher mod. I forgot about that. Alright, the guy doesn't seem to be doing too yes. bad. I mean, he's definitely sick. Oh, no, it is a one-person stretcher. Okay, that's what I thought. He just had the med bag. I had to have him set it down. It's been a while since I played this mod, guys. And you guys know pretty much everything that's happened to me in the last couple of months, so... A little bit out of practice, but still have much appreciation for our mod authors that have uh, kept our community alive while we're waiting for this guy to get uh, ready for transport I just wanted to say that uh, videos have slowed down on my channel uh, because I am in nursing school on top of working my two jobs uh, most of you probably know that I am a real-life firefighter and I also work for life flight that's actually it's the other way around my full-time job is life flight and I work part-time for a fire department uh, for a combination part-time career department. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yes, I stay very, very busy. So that's why I've gone down from three videos a week to one video a week. Probably going to do mostly Emergency 4 because, I'll be honest, it's kind of the easiest to record. Um, once in a while, I will do... Um, I will do Firefighting Simulator, the squad videos. I do want to continue that series because I do have fun with uh, with that game. 
And then uh, once Farming Simulator 22 comes out, I will probably just once in a great while do a Farming Simulator video. But we're going to primarily focus on Emergency 4 for the time being. And then maybe when I have like a vacation from school or something, we can uh, do maybe a mini series on on something on something else for a little bit. All right, so here is our Pennsylvania State Police patrol cars. I don't remember them being troopers medical in emergency. West Falls Township. Someone I thought has they fallen were and it's slightly deputies. injured. Treat and remove. All right, medic one. Almost back to the same scene, man. We're gonna need to have like OSHA inspectors come out for uh, come out for this job site two in a row. I'm assuming this guy fell off the uh, off the scaffolding, so maybe we're going to want to uh, tell him the fire department to see if an LZ is necessary. Uh, we'll wait until the medics can get on scene and assess, though. I'd appreciate if you didn't like run run over the guy. And uh, I actually just had that guy park on the wrong side, but that's alright. I would want him to be on this side of the patient in real life. Uh, nope, it doesn't look like he fell off the top floor. Maybe just uh, maybe just off the first floor here. So he's okay to go by ambulance, but we'll uh, go ahead and get some spinal precautions on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, and look, there's the OSHA inspector. Almost there. Now, if you guys have watched the channel for a while, you will know my feelings about backboards are not great, but I do appreciate that we have Roger. some form of spinal immobilization in this mod, even if it is backboards. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Why don't you just go talk to people about the safety of the workplace here, all right? Just leave the lights on so I don't a forget who's there. A fire has been reported. Cause unknown. Extinguish all fires. Oh, looks like I should have toned them anyway. Alright. Get to your apparatus. Alright. And of course our chief is going to be heading out immediately. All right, and here come the volunteers. Let's see, what have we got? We've got an officer. We've got a member. And a member. Let's get going, guys. Almost there. All right, so Chief is on. Chief Five is on scene. We've got. Uh, looks like. Go ahead. <clears throat> just one tree in the backyard on fire. I'm sure of the cause. We don't have any major exposures apart from uh, greenery around. Looks like just the engine will be able to handle. And here comes uh, some more, some more units. So all all units can stage at the station. And we'll try to handle with just the engine. Right, let's get some water on that fire, boys. Officer does not need a hose right now. Roger. You can be the safety. Safety officer, that is. Maybe we'll have a truck company come out just to take care of this medical tree emergency. Here. Someone is suffering from shock. Treat and remove. Oh, sorry, medic one, you get to go out again. Roger. Where is this person? Roger. Right there. Alright, let's come back down. Let's send out our truck company. They're just going to go non-emergent. Almost there. And you guys can clean up the hoses. Roger. Almost there. 
All right, someone get a chainsaw. Roger. Let's Roger. cut this tree down. It's okay. Roger. Roger. Right, our medic unit's on scene. Copy. Roger. He's doing all right. Almost there. Almost there. Third transport of the day for Medic One. All right, the tree is felled. We can start clearing our units off the scene. Chief just driving through that those people's lawn like uh, just does not care. He's a chief. He's got a white hat. He can do what he wants. Alright, to the fire station with the truck company. Oh, good. It is truck five. I was like, oh, they probably call it aerial or, uh... Attention! Traffic accident. Ladder. Attends wall casualties and take them away. Alright, so it looks like Medic 2 finally gets to do something. And... Chief... Hold on, guys. Slow your roll. Roger. You need to take the rescue out. Alright, Medic 2, you're on the way. Ten four. And of course, we're going to need some troopers. And don't worry, I'm making Ten the troopers four. ride one a car. I'm just sending two. Alright, so it looks like our first on scene is going to be Medic 2. Going to be reporting a uh, single car accident into a uh, landscaping Roger. boulder. We got uh, one person entrapped. Alright, Rescue 5 is on scene. Chief 5 is on scene. And here's the engine to be a blocking vehicle for Rescue 5. Roger. Go ahead. Alright, you, my friend, yes. grab a spine board. Where's our guy with the shears? Roger. There he is. Can you guys wear traffic vests? Yes, you can. Honestly, everybody on the scene should be wearing traffic vests, but... Since it's not a highway, I'm not going to be a super stickler about it. Yes. Alright. Let's get our victim assessed. Roger. There's our tow truck. Why don't you just wait out here for a minute? Until the patient's removed from the scene. Oh, this person is very injured. Let's go ahead and bring in a helicopter. Vehicle fire caused by a technical defect. Extinguish the fire and if necessary, treat all We still all have our engine company down here. Away. Can you guys get dressed, please? No, you don't want to get dressed. Oh, yep, there you go. Put on your bunker gear. All right, you guys. You're going to come up and relieve the engine, and the engine is going to go to the vehicle fire. All right, and here's our air ambulance for our car accident victim. It wouldn't really land so close to, uh, to the victim. I just had a convenient LZ already set up. Alright, and you can drop your bag. Go grab the stretcher. Almost there. Almost there. Go 
ahead. To the hospital with you. And it looks like our engine's on scene. Over here, please. Roger. All right. Almost there. There's our truck company. And there goes our patient out of there. So that's going to be, this scene is about to be wrapped up. Go ahead and get rid of your jaws. It's okay. It's okay. And I believe we had a fire alarm activation out here, so let's send the chief out to investigate. That's a, must have been a silent alarm there. All right, and you can go to a post. Cool. All right. This fire is out up here. Uh, getting traffic bug. I don't think we have any way to debug traffic, do we? Oh, yes, we do. Perfect. All right. Let's get a tow truck out here. And the chief is on scene of Medical that emergency. commercial Someone alarm has suffered activation. a severe heart attack. Treat and take the victim away. All right, looks like that's not going to be anybody but Medic 1. So Medic 2 got out of that transport, pawned Roger. him off to life flight there, and uh, let's get Medic 1 out here. Almost there. And looks like a trooper is on the scene. Almost there. Let's get this person... Well, that person might be doing CPR, so... Oh, accident reconstruction. Oh, I should have had you do that accident reconstruction out there. I didn't realize the script had it. Or this mod had that script. That's what I meant to say. Alright, Chief's in service from that alarm activation. And you can head back to the station. And our members... You know what? I'm just going to have him stay there. They're going to stay for debriefing. Alright. Almost there. 10-4. Alright, let's get Roger. this guy away. 10-4. And while you're at it, you can take off your vest. Copy. Roger. How's this person doing? Oh, super bad. But, unfortunately... Let's get Medic 2 out there as well. Unfortunately, for cardiac arrests, we don't really fly them from the Medical scene. emergency. Report of a circulatory collapse. Treat oh, and take the victim away. the second run. All right. Um, due to the high likelihood of re-arrest directly from a scene, we will not typically fly patients uh, from from cardiac arrest scenes. Now, if they've been stabilized in the hospital and they need flown to a uh, larger hospital, then yeah, sure, we'll fly them, but usually not from the scene unless there's no other option. Roger. Almost there. Right, that person's okay to go. Yes. Alright, how's this person doing? Much better. We're gonna go ahead, this is one instance where we will still use a backboard. We will get patient on the backboard in case they re-arrest. Put the Lucas device on him, and uh, get out of here. Roger. Roger. This hospital's just getting slammed with patients today, too. What's going on up here? Oh, completely forgot about this. My bad. And OSHA inspection can be finished. 
fire caused by firework accident. Extinguish all fires. Roger. All right, engine five in route. Good thing we didn't send our members home, huh? You guys get dressed. Roger. We might have to tone out our uh, other station as well. Alright, all you guys are going to be heading up here. Alright, engine's on scene. Engine's going to park up right next to the hydrant. And let's get going, guys. Alright, well, the chauffeur decided that uh, he wanted to grab a line. Alright, let's have an EMS unit come on up. It's gonna be Medic 1 again. Roger. Roger. Alright, rescue can come along over there. Command in front of the engine. And the truck company. We don't have a hydrant for you. So. You're just going to stay there, Roger. and you're going to grab some saws. We're going to start getting rid of these exposures. You guys are going to go on air. We're going to be checking the building. Roger. We do have another spot for another engine company, so let's tone out our other station. We're going to be taking the engine. Alright, get over here and prioritize making this fire not spread to this other house. Alright, is my interior crew ready to go? Yes. Alright, let's get inside, guys. Okay, you need an axe. So it's like an actual enterable building. Awesome. I have the directional lights on here. Alright, let's get a uh, trooper up here to help redirect this traffic. Alright, Roger. Get on inside. Is that our. That's our trooper. Almost there. Back into your traffic vest. Is our second engine ready to go? It is. Roger. All right, and then we'll leave a member and a chauffeur up here in case we need the tanker for something. And you guys are going to come on down here. It's okay. Roger. All right. Let's just keep going with protecting this exposure. We've got the door broken down. Ten four. No. We were in the way. Roger. Have our medic standing by. Yes. Alright, we made entry into the house. We got two people inside. Ten four. Go ahead and bring them out. Ten four. Roger. Our other engine is not yet on scene. Yes. But I can hear them coming. There they are. Alright, I'll command to engine 5 1, go ahead and take the hydrant along the south of the incident, and you're gonna start attacking the, uh, the trees along the Bravo side of the building and protecting those exposures. Engine 5-1 is clear. 
Those of you asking how to uh, how to do the parking script, you hold the delete key and press uh, right click. Alright, Lieutenant, you go ahead and you get the exposure. And the other two lines will... Uh, let's get another trooper. Almost there. The other two lines will attack the uh, tree fire. Yes. Alright, let's head back inside, make sure we didn't miss anybody. Roger. Oh, I just bumped my microphone stand from uh, leaning in, trying to see what's in here. Don't think we missed anybody, but we probably will have to do an interior attack. Uh, debating if I want to get mutual aid called out here or not. I mean, it's probably the realistic thing to do. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and install our command post right there. Um. Yeah, let's get the first alarm out here. And what have we got coming? We've got Chief Six. Engine 6, Tanker 6, Rescue 6. And from over here we're getting Chief 7, Engine 7, and Tanker, Truck 7. Uh, well, we do have a tanker Roger. available. Roger. Roger. Alright, Rescue 6, you guys can stand by. I really just needed a special, an engine, and a tanker, honestly. Alright, Station 7, go ahead and post on the north side of the incident. Alright, and... Engine 7, we're going to assign your members to interior attack. So and get your SCBA on. Did that other trooper ever make it down here? Oh, I never sent him. Whoops. Right, and Tanker 5-1, go ahead and move to the east side of the incident. And Supply Engine 6. Alright, let's get our interior guys from the rescue company to rehab. Roger. And our interior guys can uh, start getting to work. Rescue 5, are you able to rehab? I don't see it. That's okay. I'm gonna say the, the medic's looking you over and checking your vital signs and getting the water. Alright, engine 7, or sorry, 6. You guys can move on up. Attention! Traffic accident! Attend to all casualties and take them away. Rescue 6, divert to the traffic accident, please. 
And uh, Command 6, you can head on up there as well. If you're able to get out. Yep. And uh, how about Truck 7 go and assist with the accident. And let's get another medic unit out. 10-4. Ten four. Reported as a single car rollover. Roger. Go ahead. All right, rescue six is on scene, confirming single car rollover. Chief six is on scene, going to be establishing command, and Roger. truck seven is also on scene. Roger. Rescue 6, go ahead and start the extrication operation. Ten Medic four. 2, stand by for treatments. The rescue doesn't have a spine board on it. Alright. All right, patient is extricated. Why can you not? Do we have to Roger. actually start treatment before we can apply the spine board? Yes. All yes. right, she doesn't seem to be too severely injured. She must have been buckled up. That's always good. Let's see what's going on here. All right, we can start tear down and overhaul here. Let's go ahead and uh, engine five one. You guys can pack it in. Engine 6, you can pack it in. And let's disconnect our water line from engine 6. Alright. Roger. Roger. And no injuries on this fire. Always a good thing. Chief 7 can clear. Engine 7, when you're ready, you can clear. Oh, you left someone behind, Engine 7. Roger. Never leave a man behind. Alright. Medic 1, you can clear. Engine 6, you're dismissed. Engine 5 1, you're dismissed. Roger. Roger. Now, where is the members of our truck company? Okay. Bring it back in, you guys. It's okay. Let's go ahead and open that hydrant. We're going to refill the tanker. Vehicle fire caused by a technical defect. Extinguish the fire and, if necessary, treat all casualties and take them away. 10 4. Engine 5 1, divert to the vehicle fire. Can you not apply the spine board? Roger. There you go. Sorry, bump the microphone again. Let's go do the accident recon, huh? 10-4. That's not really liking it. Let's try one more time. I don't want to accidentally crash the game. That doesn't look like it's working. Oh, wait, there we go. I'm not sure what, what this really does, to be honest. But... Alright, Chief Six... You can clear. Rescue 6 can clear. Truck 7 can clear. Engine 5-1 is on scene of that vehicle fire. Roger. It's done. It's okay. And let's get a tow truck up here. Roger. Yes. Got 
Guys, fire. Oh, no one's operating the pump, apparently. There you go. Alright, and you're topped off, so let's go ahead and break this down. Chief can deinstall the command post. This incident will be officially terminated. Tanker 5-1 and Engine 5 can return to quarters, as well as Truck 5 and Chief 5. Thank you for the assist to Pennsylvania State Troopers. Return to posts. And we're going to have to debug traffic. That's okay, at least we have the debug option. To the HQ with you. 10-4. Roger. Uh-oh, our, uh... 10-4. Our trooper's stuck. Almost there. Hmm. Interesting. What if I tell you to go get Ten something? Four. Nope, you just, like... Medical emergency. Report of a circulatory collapse. Treat and take the victim away. No, I think I broke it. Almost there. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we need to debug traffic. Debug traffic. Let's send a Ten trooper four. to help that guy. You're stuck Still. over here. Oh, are you good now? Oh, you're good now. Roger. I don't know what's happening. Okay, you can just go to a post, because he's unstuck now. Alright, we do need a medic unit, though, because we have another circulatory... Circulatory... Circulatory collapse. Right. 10-4. Alright, and... This fire is out. That I didn't totally completely forget about. Another tow truck out. Okay, can you get Roger. in your car now? Yes. Just send you to HQ so we can get rid of that kind of bugged out trooper. Clear these people out. 10 4. Here comes Medic 1. Roger. Who has definitely been the busiest Roger. unit today. 10 4. And this person is pretty Roger. sick. Pretty darn sick. Um, let's have the trooper ah. actually... 10-4. Well, actually, we're so close to the hospital, it doesn't make sense to fly, so let's not even worry about setting up Roger. NLC. Let's go back to doing what Roger. you were doing. Attention! Right, Traffic accident! Go. Attend to all casualties and take them away. Ten four. Another busy day in West Falls Township. All right, medic two. We got a traffic accident. Roger. Almost there. Oh boy, this is a this is a good one. Engine five. Roger. Engine 5 1, respond to the traffic accident. And uh, we're going to send Rescue 5 1 as well. And Chief 5. Almost there.
Go ahead. All right, medic two is on scene, reporting two vehicle accident with smoke coming with us. Uh, with smoke coming, with smoke showing. Ten four. All right, engine five. Oh, that's engine five two. I thought that was a rescue. We might need to get rescue five up here. Roger. Are you guys able to? Yes, there is jaws on engine five two. All right. Engine five two. Sorry. Yes, engine five two. Go ahead and start the extrication operation. Engine five one's got the fire out. There are reports of food poisoning. Treat the victim and take him away. Medic one, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Roger. <laughs> oh, you guys thought you were gonna get to lay down. Nope. Ten four. All right. And let's get this person started to treat. Is there anybody inside here? Yeah, that's not a good sign. Okay. Ten four. Grab a medic bag. Roger. Start treating this person. And let's get medic three for the first time today. You're heading out. Ten four. Almost there. Ten four. Any other extrications? Nope. All right, let's get a second trooper on up here. I know there's a. There he is. Actually, they're both in a surprisingly pretty good condition. We're not going to need to land a helicopter after all. Roger. All right. Apparently didn't learn my lesson about the accident reconstruction. All right. These guys are good to go. Roger. Kind of concerned about the uh, spinal integrity of this guy over here, just because he did get T-boned by a large truck. Roger. I'm honestly surprised this person's still alive, considering their vehicle was just completely on fire. Well, I guess it wasn't completely on fire; it was just smoking. All right. Roger. Let's go ahead and get two tow trucks. 10 4. Engine 5 1. You'll be able to clear once the patients are out of here. It's okay. 10 4. 10 oh, 4. They have, okay, well, apparently they have suffered a spinal injury. Here we go. Alright, let's have a firefighter grab that. And this, this is going to be the last call of the day, guys. So, again, big thank you to Ten Slate four. Dragon and Itch Boy for this fantastic mod. If I can find any kind of donation link, it'll Roger. be in the comments. Uh, probably pinned to the top. Or if uh, Itch Boy himself comments with any kind of donation link, uh, feel free to follow that and donate as a way to say thank you to our modders for keeping our community alive for this long. You guys can get out of here.
All right, once these incidents clear, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and log off because I've got to get to work. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for watching and for the third time and the second time in as many minutes, huge thank you to uh, Slate Dragon and Itch Boy. Until next time, I am a Shadowbox. You guys have a good one.